The only two tight ends I really want to talk about because usually year one, there's not a ton of rookie impacts. Mm-hmm. But this, of all years, could make a, a real difference in that. Um, and that's both Iowa boys. We talked about both of them last time you were on, and now we know TJ Hawkinson's going to the Lions, Noah Fant's going to uh, the Broncos here. Those were the first two off the board, and and both teams have pretty vacant target shares here. Who do you think is going to have the better fantasy season, better overall season? Uh, and what do you see of both of them coming in 2019? I think that if I had to bet on a fantasy season, I would bet that Noah Fant's going to have the better fantasy season just because there's a, a ton of different time kinds of options in the Lions offense. Uh, it's not just Hawkinson, whereas on the flip side, I think that Denver's offense is going through certainly an identity change right now. Mm-hmm. And when you look at the quarterbacks that they have, Drew Locke and Joe Flacco ahead of them, those are guys who like to take deep chances down the field. But even more than that, I think vertically up the seam with the tight ends to the middle of the field is where they're going to try to attack. I mean, we, we saw, you know, Drew Locke comes in. We saw him and Albert O.K. over the last two years in Missouri kind of tear it up in that aspect. So you know that he's going to be wanting to target Fant early. Um, coming from the slot, it's going to be the same story when when Joe Flacco's in the game. And so I, I just think that. You know, Hawkinson got drafted earlier, and I think that they liked him better, certainly. That doesn't mean that he's going to be the better fantasy player year one, and I think that is because there's options there in Detroit, unlike a lot of the options that we're seeing in Denver. And so I I would guess that Noah Fant's probably going to have the better fantasy year. 